Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today I want to show you how to play Dirty Deeds Standard G by ACDC on electric guitar. So I recently made a full cover of this song and if you haven't watched it yet I put the link up in the info box and I also link it down in the video description. So I will show you all the rhythm parts and all the lead guitar parts and also the guitar solo. But I have to say the guitar solo is not 100% note per note like the original track, it's more based on the original track. So without further ado, let's go to the lesson. So let's start with the rhythm part of the song. I will first show you all the chords you will need. The first chord is an E major chord. The second chord is an open G5 chord. The next chord is an A5 chord. And then we got an D5 chord. And for the guitar solo we need a B5 power chord. So let's start with the intro and the first chord is the E major. Then we play the G5 and back to the E major. Then we play the A and back to the E major. And then the D chord back to the E major. So now all together. So then we come to the verse. For this section we only need the D5 chord and the E major. And you play it like this. And on the end of the verse, right before the chorus, you play it like this. Once again. So now we come to the chorus. So the chorus starts with the A chord, and then again A, G, A. Then we go to the E major, then E, D, E. Then again the part with the A. And 
and then the E major chord. So now once again. So now we come to the guitar solo section. We start with the B5 chord. So we play it once and then three times the A5 chord and then back to the B5. And on the end we go to the D5 chord. So I play it one more time. So the second part of the guitar solo is just the intro like this. So the last part of the song is the ending and it's a mix of the chorus and the intro. So I played once for you. So you just start with the intro like this. And when you're here, you play the E, D, E part from the chorus. And on the last two times of the outro, you play the chords a bit more like this. So that was the rhythm part of Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Let's move on to the lead guitar. So the lead guitar part is almost the same as the rhythm guitar. The only difference is on the verse and on the outro. So on the verse, instead of this, you play power chords. So you play a D5 power chord. and an E5 power chord. Like this. So, and on the ending part, on the last two riffs, where this happens... You play this. So we start with an E power chord on the 7th fret. Then a G power chord up on the 10th fret. Then we got also an A power chord on the 12th fret. And then we do E, D, E. 
Yeah, and that's basically it. I played one more time. So let's move on to the last part, the guitar solo. So we start on the 7th thread G string to the 9th thread D string and don't forget the vibrato. Then we do a full step bend on the 9th thread on the G string. and release the band and play the 7th fret on the G string. So the next part So we play the 7th fret G string again and then we do a full step bend on the B string 10th fret. Then we go to the high E string 7th fret, then B string 7th fret and then 10th fret on the B string. Then comes this little octave phrase. So we go with our index finger on the 9th fret uh, D string and with our pinky or ring finger on the 12th fret B string. And we try to mute the G string with our index finger like this. So when you hit all three strings, you only hear the D and the B string. So and then you play it like this. Once again. Then we come to this lick. So we go on the high E string 7th fret and then we do a pull off from 10 to 7. Then a pull off from 9 to 7. Then we do the same thing on the B string, but we start on the 10th thread. Then this part. So 9th thread on the G string to the 7th thread on the B string. And then a pull off from 9 to 7 on the G string.
and then 9 on the D string. And then again a full step bend on the 9th fret G string. So now the last part of the solo is this uh, hammer on pull off lick. So for this part of the solo you only need your left hand. Your right hand is muting the other strings. So the first uh, notes are the 7th fret on the high E string and the 4th fret on the high E string. I prefer to use my pinky on the first few notes. So you can start the first note uh, with your pick, uh, the open E string. And one time the 7th fret. So make sure to practice hammer-ons and pull-off before you play that. So as I said, it starts on the 7th and 4th fret. You play it 8 times, this lick. And then you always move one fret up. So the next part is on the 8th and the 5th fret. Then on the 9th and on the 6th fret. And on the next fret. And then when you're here on the 11th fret, um, we only play it 4 times. Then when you are on the 17th fret, you play it 8 times again. Then we do a full step bend on the 17th fret high E string. You can also add a nice vibrato on it. And yeah, that was basically the full guitar solo. I played one more time for you. So I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and it was helpful for you. If you're interested in the guitar tabs and also backing tracks for this song, check out my Patreon page, it's all linked down in the video description. If you have any other suggestions for ACDC songs I should teach, please let me know down in the comments. Alright, that was it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.